Welcome back, everybody. Well, today's show is all about trying to make your life just a little bit better. And, uh, you know, we're going to take a, a break from cooking and talk a little bit about relationship. How is your relationship with your special someone? Could it be a little bit better? Here to talk about relationship counseling, what it is, why you might want to try it, is psychotherapist Ken Hall from Child and Family Consultants. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Amy. So first of all, um, we were talking during the break a little bit. Um, why would a couple want to maybe seek out uh, some relationship counseling? There's many different reasons, Amy. I would say some of the top reasons people would want to do that is there's conflicts in communication styles, um, surviving the death of a child. Um, they're having difficulties re resolving issues around in-laws. They're having concerns about uh, parenting differences, concerns about um, finances. Those are some of the top reasons. I tell you, it's, life is very stressful these days. You know, there's a lot going on, and uh, you know, uh, sometimes we need a little extra help to get through it. Let's talk about that. How do you know when it's time? It's time. You know, you you just can't. You're not communicating with each other, you're, you're fighting a lot. I think one of the first things that happens is if you notice your self-image is being impacted, if you notice that um, you're thinking about your relationship, the negative aspects more than you'd like to be, when you're thinking about uh, perhaps how my needs are not being met and how someone else might meet them. I've had some friends too that just, uh, you know, uh, just live with it, you know what I mean? And, and, and that, it doesn't go away, you know? That resentment stays there, you know, no matter what, even if you say, oh, I'm just, not, I'm just gonna just, you know, keep on going, keep on plugging along, it, yeah. Right, past resentments is something that uh, can really be harmful to a relationship. That's another reason a lot of people seek therapy is to help deal with those and minimize them. And you gotta get it out on the table. You gotta right. get those feelings out on the table. Okay, here's a tough one. Uh, you wanna go for counseling. Your, your mate does not, um, and that's really common. How do you get your mate to go? One of the things that I would suggest is let them pick a therapist of their choice. Uh, offer them the opportunity to go a few times alone to make sure that they have a chance to tell their side of the story. Um, another technique is to say, would you do this for me? What are some of the results you've seen? I know you've been in the business a long time, um, and I, I, I'm sure you've got some happy innings. I would say that most couples that come to therapy before things are really problematic, uh, have a lot more chance of success of getting their goals met. The longer you wait, the more difficult it becomes. Uh, the com communication patterns begin to fall apart, and um, people start to focus on the negative aspects of their relationship rather than the positive parts. I, I yeah, I think that you, you can't wait. You got to address it because it's, it's, exactly. it doesn't go away, you know. So I'm a kind of take the bull by the horns kind of gal, and uh, um, rather than just muddle through, you know. So Ken Horn, thanks so much. Good to see you. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. Coming up next, we're headed back to the kitchen, bored with the same old salads. I know I can get really bored. Well, not this salad. We're making a a jazzed up spinach salad with uh, caramelized nuts and a whole